Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd. This is my friends over at Yarnspirations.com. Today we have the two rectangle cardigan. This is officially two rectangles that have been put together and shaped in a way that it makes it a cardigan. So if you've never done clothing before this is actually a really kind of an entry level project. This is almost a beginner level project other than if you don't know how to hold the hook and etc. But it's actually really quite simple. So what you're seeing with the model is she's wearing two different rectangles that have been put together through single crochet join on the back seam line and then she's then has single crochet joining just underneath the armholes down on both sides and then she is single crocheted all the way down through the base coming up and over and then around the armholes. So we actually have a diagram on page number two that I can show you. On page number two you're going to see two diagrams. What we're doing is we're creating this and we're creating two of these. This is what it looks like once it's been put together and what you have here is that it has all the different dimensions that you have. So we have all the different sizes available to you uh, all the way up to three extra large. So small to three extra large. So of course if you wanna customize anything you can by, by all means you can do that. So what's gonna happen is that once this is done is that this is gonna be folded. So when you're looking at this it's already been folded over. So let's take a look at my handy paperwork here. So this is the fold line. So it's already been folded like this and it's being created in front like this. So you have two panels and the back seam lines have been put together. So if you look at it from this perspective the back is being single crocheted then down through here. You're going to want to start three inches going down to be able to single crochet and do the join and then once that's done is that you're going to do the armholes. You're going to measure down from the top edge going down and then it's gonna leave an armhole like this and you're just gonna single crochet around both of those. So this one and then this one as well. So this is kind of an easy concept in order to do. So there's going to be some methods to the madness. We have either a foundation single crochet or a regular um, chain and then single crochet across the top. So there's two different ways to start and then once you have uh, get this concept it's actually really easy and then using the unforgettable yarn you can create some really awesome textures like so. So we're gonna move on into today's tutorial. We're going to get ourselves started and let's begin. So as you're looking at the sizes you can see that the rectangle panel has a certain amount of uh, dimensions. So you see 49 all the way to 65 inches. It has the centimeters for those that prefer metric and you can see that from 12 inches to 17 and then the metric for that. Once it's been put together you can see the idea of it going. So it's across it's either 24 to 34. It depends on the size that you're doing and then the height is gonna obviously change to do your height as well. So you're going to just be paying attention to how things are gonna come together and it's actually kind of neat on how it's gonna go. So there is the armhole down here. So, so here's all the information in parentheses that we have. So we have the small which is the first one and the next one's medium and then large, extra large, two extra large and three extra large. So you're going to choose the measurement that you want of the size that you would like to get for yourself. If you're not sure of the size just look up here and it will tell you the finished chest size is and so you can just take a, a measuring tape if you're feeling <laughs> adventurous around your own body. That's one thing I get all like frantic about because I don't wanna know real dimensions. Uh, but this is what it will do. So there's the small, the medium, large, extra large, two and three extra large. So that's how it's gonna go. So there's method one and method two for the start. Now method one is using the foundation single crochet. It's not a stitch. I, I particularly enjoy doing it. It's kind of, I get scared about it but that doesn't mean I can't. So if you're gonna do the foundation single crochet you're just gonna chain 171, 171, 199, 199, 227 or 227. You choose the one size. So remember it's small, medium, large, extra large, two and three extra large. Method two is just chaining. So if you don't wanna do the foundation single crochet just chain 172, 172 and etc. And method two here is just one single crochet second chain from the hook in each in order to get back to 171 that we see here. So basically the foundation single crochet allows for a nicer edge but if you don't wanna do it that way you can do it the method two. And then for the rest of it then we're going to move on. So I also have a crochet diagram for you today. So if you're following the link from this video over to the crochetcrowd.com to this article you're going to find this crochet diagram just like so. So this is actually the repeat. I drew this as if it was foundation single crochet. So the single crochet is sitting on top of the 
of the chain just like joined. So it's a foundation single crochet. Of course if you would like to do a regular way you just have to add one extra chain to this chain uh, just visually and then just single crochet across. So I have single crochet multiple uh, with the foundation with the multiple is two plus one. But if you would just do a regular chain it's multiples of just two. So if you really like this particular pattern um, you can apply it to something else and that's the multiples in order to do it. So that's kind of a neat thing and we're going to begin and I'll show you a foundation single crochet first and then you can decide what you would like to do. Most clothing has a foundation um, chain in order to start. So we'll do that today just for doing something different. So let's begin. We're gonna create a slip knot and in order to start the foundation single crochet you have to start off with two chains. Remember the hook doesn't count as one. So one and two. Now what we need to do is that we need to come into the very first chain in order to start the first one. So you're gonna come into the first chain and you're going to insert your hook. Make sure that there's two strands you can see on the top of the hook. And then yarning over pulling it through. Yarn over pull through one stitch only like one loop and then pull through two. Let me demonstrate that again. So create a slip knot and chain two. One and two. So coming in making sure two strands are on top of the hook. Yarn over pull through. Yarn over pull through only the one loop first and then yarn over pull through two. And that's considered your first stitch. You can clearly see that. So in order to start the second one you're gonna come up see how they're coming together here. You wanna come just directly underneath and when you insert the hook you wanna make sure that you get the two strands on top. And you're gonna yarn over pull through. Yarn over pull through only one loop and then yarn over pull through two. Do you see that? So let's do another one. So just turning it a little bit. So you wanna come right here. See how they're coming together? You wanna come just directly underneath and go straight in across getting two strands on top. Pull through. Yarn over pull through only one and then yarn over pull through two. And now I have three. So going underneath. Pull through. Pull through one loop. Pull through two. So what I need you to do if you're doing this method you need to either do 171, 199 or 227 depending on the size you're working on. And so you're just going to count. You can either count as you go or you can just count at the end of the chain in order to make it work for you. And that's what you can do. And so basically you are doing your chain and your single crochet at the same time and that's the advantage to doing the foundation single crochet. So if you're doing it this method I will see you in just a few seconds. Let me just uh, get everybody else that's gonna go the other method in order to cover that. If you're not comfortable of doing the foundation single crochet you can just chain a regular chain. So you're going to just keep it in multiples of two if you'd like to change the size of anything if you'd like to use the stitch for something else. But you will uh, either chain 172, 200 or 228. So let me just uh, practice. So 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2 and 1, 2. Once you have it to 172, 200 or 228 you're gonna go second chain from the hook and go in the back hump only and single crochet yourself all the way across. See the foundation single crochet is a little more secure. And so that's the advantage to doing that. And this yarn here is fabulous and fun to work with as it will start transitioning on you uh, really nice and slowly and you'll have some really amazing looks. So no matter which one, uh, method you wanted to do today um, you can do anything that you would like to do and I will see you and we'll officially start then. Um, we'll start row number um, two at this time. So if you're doing method one just foundation single crochet yourself across and then if you're doing method two chain the number and single crochet across and I'll see you then officially on row number two. And I'll be back in just a moment. So I'm now ready. I just did my foundation across so I'm living dangerously. <laughs> so we're going to begin row number two. In row number two we're going to then start and get ourselves established on this pattern. So we're gonna chain up one or sorry chain up three. So one, two, three. And you're gonna come into the second chain from the hook 
So the, coming straight down has already been filled with this chain three and you're going to double crochet then in each of these uh, single crochets across. So whether you did the foundation or you did the regular uh, single crochet when you came back across, it's all the same. So I want you to single crochet yourself all the way across and I'll see you at the end of row number two. So I'm coming into the end of row number two. I went right into the last stitch and I'm gonna turn my work. So row number three is going to create some spacing that we would like to do and in the spacing that we want to do is that we want to chain three to begin and we're going to double crochet immediately into the next one. So the very edges, the, the last two or the first two depending on the, where you are is going to be each a double crochet. So the chain three is a double crochet, this double crochet. So the very end, the last two will be double crochets. So now we're gonna start the fun work. So we're gonna chain up one, skip the next stitch and double crochet into the next. And then chain up one, skip one, double crochet in the next. And you'll do that all the way down your rectangle. But eventually the party will end and you're gonna chain one and you'll skip one and then you'll have the last two. So you're gonna come into the second last one and then in the turning chain I want you to put in a double crochet. So don't go into the space, go right into the chain and make sure you get two strands on top through, pull through two and two and that'll complete row number three. So now you can see that there is spacing which is what you're looking for. So let's go on to row number four. In row number four you're gonna start off with the chaining of three which counts as your first double crochet and you're gonna move to the next double crochet in order to fill it in. So if there's a space put in a double crochet right through the space itself. Okay, you don't have to worry about going into the any stitch work. Just go into the space and then jump into the next double crochet. And you'll do that all the way across. So either going into a space or double crochet. And what this is doing is it's holding open that space so that it looks awesome for when you're wearing this particular concept. And then this is the last space of the line. So you eventually you'll hit there too. So don't forget the last two are going to be a double crochet. So that's the second last one and come into the turning chain and going right into the chain work itself for a double crochet. So turn your work and that was the end of number four. So you can see that it's open. So once that's done, you're gonna come back to row number three to doing what you did. So let's do that next. So let's recap number three. You're just gonna chain up three and double crochet into the next. And now you're gonna create those spaces again. So you just immediately chain one, skip the next one and double into the next one after that. Chain one, skip one and double. And you'll do that all the way across. This is row number three again. And then eventually you'll come in, you skip one and then you'll have two left and you will put in each double crochet at the very end of the two. Now we have to move on to row number four. Four is actually the end of doing something for a panel. So once you turn it, we're gonna begin row number four which will be the final. So once you get this done, so you're just gonna do number four and say you're satisfied or you're following the pattern. Uh, the very last row should be a double crochet that's gonna fill in those spaces and the double crochet that exists. So that gives you more of a solid edge versus leaving it open to having a row that has spacing as the last section. So this will uh, be able to complete it. So that's all this is. The only difference between my sample and yours, yours will be life size, mine's just miniature. And then uh, we'll talk about doing the assembly process in just a few moments. So eventually you're going to come to the end of the journey and you're going to need to fasten off. So if you're changing yarn at all at any point, you may want to look at your yarn balls and see where they kind of match up for the colors to kind of go in sync and again that creativity is up to you. So let's talk about fastening off. Well eventually the party will end and you'll have to finish this off. So you're just going to pull this up. So, so you're just going to just take the yarn and take it underneath the stitches and I don't want you to change the shape of the panel. So just coming through 
and coming to a slightly different path back in the opposite direction. That's two times and then a slightly different path again. And therefore it should be stuck in. And you'll wanna do that with the beginning strand as well. In order to get that work. And so you'll wanna do that with this beginning. So let's talk about the assembly because you need to make two of these rectangles. So back to the instructions we go. So we're gonna wanna mark the middle double crochet in the last row for the shoulder seam. So you'll wanna uh, fold it pretty much in half like so. So just take your panel and mark it with a stitch marker. So you could just use spare yarn, just wrap it around the stitch and you'll know exactly where that is. So you'll wanna do that for both of your panels so that you can identify where that is in the future. Uh, obviously this is paper and you will not see a line like this on your work. So, so what we're going to do is that we're gonna take your panel and we need to measure the halfway point. So you can either fold it and get it exactly and have it and mark the middle one where the fold is to consider that as being part of the top of the, of the panel. You'll wanna do both of them exactly the same and what I would do after you do one of them, you can at least count the spaces to determine if it's right or not. So make sure that they're both exactly the same and you have it marked. Now we're going to be using a, just a single crochet um, concept in order to do it. So we're going to slip stitch um, going down uh, to start and then you're gonna uh, single crochet everything to begin. So you don't need to use a sewing needle in order to cause this to join. Once you have it done, you'll have two different panels. So you're going to put the two panels together. Before you do though, I want you to mark three inches down so just take your measuring tape and mark three inches down and just mark it and that's where you're going to join it. So once you have marked it like so, you're going to and then mark both sides. You're gonna put it together and then join them and going through both of these stitches at the same time. So in one side and out the other, you're going to single crochet yourself all the way down, all the way to the base. If these are exactly identical, which they should be, the stitches will match each other. So you're just gonna go in and being able to do that. So you can mark that on the, on that. So you're just gonna single crochet yourself all the way down the seam line in order to do that. Then what we have to do is join and measure the side seams. Let's talk about that next. When we go to do the side seams, we're going to have to measure what the distance is for leaving the space for the arms. So you're going to notice in the instructions here that it says either it's eight, nine, or 10, depending on the size that you're working with. So you're going to measure down from that fold to a certain amount here. And that's where you're going to do it. So because this is already folded in half in front of you, you're just going to just attach with the slip stitch and going through both of these sides and then just working your way with a single crochet all the way down the other side. This will also be attached already because you've attached it and you'll do exactly the same with the other side. So measuring down and then attach it with a single crochet all the way down. So then you're leaving your ideas open for your armholes. So now at this point the back is done, the sides are done and so if you turn it over you'll have the front here like so. So the only thing that we really have to do now is to make it just look finished. So let's talk about that. So all you're going to do then to move this forward in the pattern is that we have to just do some nice bordering. So starting on one side here, here you're just going to single crochet yourself all the way across and around and then because this is attached you'll continue around and then going up here. You can also if you would like to go up the, the front here and then just turn around at the top and then come down the other side here. So you're going in a continuous revolution. So that's how you would do your lower and your front section if you would like to do that. Then what you're going to do then is right where those holes are for leaving for the arms, you're just going to single crochet evenly all the way around the arms so that you have a nice seam line in order to do that. So you'll do that with the both, both sides as you're working your way through. So it's one of those particular concepts that's really not hard to do. Once you are done with this particular sample, place the cardigan on a flat surface over a towel. Just spray it with a bit of cold water and just let, and just kind of shape it and let it dry. That's considered blocking and that's something that you can decide to do. So it's a matter of just uh, being able to single crochet these together, uh, all the panel, uh, all the two panels and put them together 
and will allow you have a two rectangle cardigan. So until next time it's Mikey on behalf of the Crochet Crowd as well as my friends over at Yarnspirations.com.